everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a brand new speed build, this time in a style that I've not done for quite some time. Um, now the first thing you'll notice is again you can see my user interface from Twitch. I decided the other day that I thought it'd be a really good idea to do a huge 64 by 64 lot and live stream it at the same time. So you will see this interface disappear at times because there were times when I did build off stream as well. Um, so just so you're aware of what that is. But basically this is a 64 by 64 lot, it's a 7 bed, 5 bathroom build and it's called Bakewell Manor. Now it came in at just less than 534,000 simoleons and there are no restricted packs with this. Um, whilst I've not had a look at exactly what packs were used for it, I would probably say the majority as there usually is something within the build that's from, from one pack for instance. So yeah, there's no restriction with the packs on this one. So even though I knew what style I wanted to build in, I had absolutely no idea what the shape was going to be. And I actually found this really challenging because ordinarily, obviously, I just put my headset on, I put my music on and I go and disappear into the world of creativity within The Sims. But when you're streaming and you're constantly switching over to check your chat and things like that, it's quite challenging to be kind of creative at the same time. Um, and I think that's just something that will come with time and more experience. But obviously, being quite new to streaming, it was really tough. So I kind of wish that I'd gone away and sort of thought a little bit more about what I was going to do but in all honesty I got there in the end and it was slow and painful <laughs> but it was a lot of fun as well so I'm currently working on the exterior of the build and how I actually built this was rather strange but I basically built the front of the house first and even went as far as doing the landscape and the detail before I moved on to the back. I always think it's quite helpful to concentrate on the front of the house personally um, because then by the time I come to move around to the back it just makes the process a lot quicker because I know what kind of windows I'm going to use, I know what landscaping is going to look like or you know kind of like the style of landscaping. So I felt that in this instance just working on the front first and getting it exactly how I wanted it was the best thing to do before moving on and sorting the shape of the back of the house out. So I knew that I wanted to build a Tudor bill but I also wanted it to be really picturesque, as picturesque as I could make it to fit into the world of Windenburg. Um, I mentioned a couple of videos ago that I hadn't built in Windenburg for some time and I do like to kind of base my builds around their environment as well so that they blend in really nicely, almost like it's quite realistic. You know, if you were going to pan around then you would look at this house and think, oh this really suits this world. So I was really excited to build in Windenburg again because obviously it is really picturesque and it is full of sort of like lush trees and greenery and that's completely right up my street. So I wanted to kind of fit in with that same theme and have lots of lovely green trees and shrubs and just everything that looked really beautiful. But at the same time, I didn't want to overcomplicate the front of the house. I also wanted there to be like lots of sort of lush gardens. So lots of greenery as if there was like a huge manicured lawn at the front of the house and the same around the back. Now what you won't see about this build is on the inside of the house as I began doing the floor layout, as I got to the second stream, um, I didn't I decided to go against building a second staircase because when you build on an angle in the Sims you can't angle your staircase as well it sits in sort of a fixed position so it's unless you're going to kind of do remaster the floor plan um, it can be really quite difficult to add a staircase in so I decided to go against it but then after further thought I thought it is actually a really long way to walk to the other end of the house without a staircase so what you won't see me do in this in this particular video is I did actually add a staircase to the outside of the build which is on the right hand side and it's 
it's on an angle on the outside and it leads up to one of the balconies which leads into one of the main bedrooms so I thought it's very discreet but there is and even though it's obviously only accessible from the outside there is still a second staircase in there so I did go ahead um, and take some advice and think yes that's a good idea and I went ahead and did that. So at the moment I'm just working around the back of the house and obviously placing all the shrubs that are going around the fencing um, and I'm working on sort of the landscaping, the pathing and what I'm going to put into the back. So I wanted the back to match pretty much the front and be kept really sort of lush, lots of greenery and a little bit of lawn area but I did go ahead and add in sort of a kids play area again and also a pool area. I think the only thing with building mansions is that I think to myself if someone's actually going to download this house the chances are they probably will have a really large family and that's what they're looking for is sort of a family based house so whilst I did want to initially keep this as a really traditional build I did go ahead and add in lots of things for children and that included obviously the outdoor play area because uh, I just felt like for myself it was, if I was going to download this and use this myself I'd really appreciate having those sort of items but at the same time, obviously I did want to stick with the theme and not sort of over complicate the back too much and keep it sort of as plain as I could. Um, just leaving a lot of open space as well, which also gives you the flexibility to add in items as well. For instance, if you had a sim who was in the astronaut career or you know needed a rocket or something like that, you could obviously go ahead and place a rocket. The same with, you know, if you want wanted to level up your logic skill and you wanted kind of like a telescope or something like that there's just there's plenty of space for you to add whatever you choose into the back of this build as well so like I say, with the interior of the build, I was going to stay quite sort of traditional. And in some senses I have, in some senses it's quite, I'd say I, I used a lot of earthy brown tones just because I felt like it would kind of match maybe the exterior of a Tudor build to have sort of like a dark wood kind of oaky feel to the inside of the house but at the same time I did go and add in a couple of rooms that you won't actually see in this speed build so we have like a personal gym a downstairs a study area which was quite feminine and girly and also there was a children's playroom I always think in mansions this big um that it always helps to have kind of like a kids area where maybe they're gonna sort of have a, a space to themselves where they can sit and do their homework sit and play toys it's just like a nice manageable space for children to play in and the same with the bedrooms I did go ahead and sort of I really really wanted guys to just keep this traditional <laughs> and just keep it sort of like oldie worldy but I just struggle because I just think really if I was going to play this build that is the last thing I'd want to see inside I'd want to drop them walls down and see you know a home for a family so I don't know maybe I can make that a challenge in one of the next builds I do to do something a lot more traditional but yeah I did actually end up going um obviously there is seven bedrooms so I did kind of theme a couple of the kids bedrooms so there's a lot of like there's a teen girls bedroom there's a teen boys bedroom there's you know and I've, I've added color in I thought why not I'm just gonna do it but I would say with sort of like the main living areas, like the living room, for instance, that it's a lot more traditional. Like I say, I stuck with kind of like the earthy tones. So I did go on to the interior and I started upstairs working in the bedrooms and I went back on to live streaming that bit. Um, I think I only did a couple of bedrooms and a bathroom before I finished with streaming the interior of the build and I went on to do some let's plays on on stream instead um but it was quite difficult again because the thing is is there are some times when I come to build and I'm just not in a building mood I just nothing seems to work <laughs> And I'm pretty sure other people who are creators get those moments where they just feel like 
this is just not happening today. And I felt at this moment in time, when I was doing these first couple of rooms, that it just wasn't flowing right. It didn't feel right. And I think it's probably because I was partially torn between keeping it quite traditional and making it homely. So I was kind of playing around with this bedroom. I was sort of okay with it. And I will just mention as well, where that seating area is now on the left-hand side, that's where the exterior door to the right-hand side of the building building is with the staircase so I did actually go and change that but yeah so I did these couple of bedrooms and I was just I just wasn't feeling it guys so I was think I was trying to stay as traditional as I could and it just wasn't happening so I think I did a couple of rooms and then I was like right guys I'm gonna stop building this now because I'm not happy with the way it's going and I think I went on to do some let's plays or some challenges or something like that but at this point here was when I came back and I think I kind of thought, no, I'm going to build this how I want to build it, what feels natural to do. And obviously it just felt more natural to build it for a family. So I moved on to, I did go back and fix the other bedrooms and obviously I made some changes as well, which you might not see. Um, but you'll certainly see the end result of those rooms in the screenshots at the end. But yeah, like I say, I went back and I juggled a few rugs around and a few wallpaper just until I was happy with the way that it looked but I do think sometimes you get kind of like builder's block where sometimes you sit down and you're like right I really want to do this and you do and you set out with the best of intentions but some days it just doesn't happen and I think when you have days like that rather than sit and get frustrated or sit and continue to build um, and just waste your time ultimately I just stop and I take a break and I maybe go to sleep and I sleep on it and then I wake up the next day and everything just feels like better you know I feel like I've had a reset or something <laughs> so at this point this was another day and obviously I was off stream at this point and I decided to just get stuck in there and get as much of the furnishing as I could done and this was a teen girls room that I'm working on at the moment and as you can see the whole traditional idea just went totally out the window but I'm happy I am happy with the way that it turned out um currently I've thrown myself into doing a few challenges I'm doing the 100 baby challenge the not so berry challenge and I've just started wags to riches and I'm really actually enjoying wags to riches although my dog is absolutely failing at getting pregnant. She's just not having it. So I've got a feeling I might be failing this challenge. But with with sort of playing The Sims again and actually doing these challenges, it makes me think about building houses, you know, for Sims again. And, you know, maybe I might use some of these houses for families within these Let's Plays. So... I probably will go ahead at some point and re-download this for one of my worlds and maybe stick some sort of wealthy people in there because obviously for me to afford this doing the challenges at the moment is just would take me forever because these houses cost a fortune. But I'm having an absolute blast over on Twitch at the minute and I have done several streams so far and I just want to say thanks again for all the support, everybody that's popped in to say hello, no matter how short, if it's just a quick hi, bye, or whether you're sat lurking and you've got other stuff that you're getting on with, it's just been really nice to have that support so I really appreciate it. What I will say is I would like to dedicate a bit more time towards Twitch as well and obviously being a mum of four the only time that I really have between YouTube and Twitch is in the evenings so it's finding that happy balance between my YouTube channel and obviously Twitch um, but I would really like to to spend a bit more time especially because I'm so new and obviously it's like starting all over again finding kind of a viewership from scratch um, so I'm probably going to put a lot more effort towards Twitch but what I will say is I would like to maybe maintain a build a week on YouTube but with this build a week I'd, I mean it might be more you know it depends but I'm trying to find a happy balance I think is what I'm trying to say between all of it um, I absolutely love doing big builds and and I think my channel reflects that now and I did do an apartment speed build earlier on in the week and it was nice and refreshing to do something 
uh, smaller, but I would say it's refreshing in the sense that it just didn't take me ages to do. Um, but I'd say my enjoyment with building probably lies in sort of bigger builds. And um, But there are going to be times, you know, when I build something a bit smaller. But the bottom line being is that I would like to maybe stick with kind of a build a week. That's what I'm going to aim to upload. And that way, if I decide to build a huge mansion, then I've got a good amount of time to do it. But I've also got a good amount of time to stream as well as downtime, which downtime is equally as important. You know, I don't want to burn myself out and end up in a situation where I don't want to do any of it anymore sort of thing, because that kind of happened around Christmas and I don't want that to happen again. But I hope you all had a fabulous week. My week's flown by because as you'll know, if you watched the last video I did, um, I got my days completely mixed up this week and I was kind of like, I thought it was Tuesday when it was Wednesday and so <laughs> I ended up running a little bit behind. So this video really should have been up yesterday, which was Friday, but instead, obviously, it's going to end up going up today. Um... But yeah, it's been a really good week and I've had a real load of fun, like I say, streaming, building, it's just been really nice to be back and I feel like I'm getting there with a bit of a routine as well, so everything is good and happy over in this neck of the woods um, but I hope you've enjoyed this build if you've got this far if you did please feel free to give me a big thumbs up that always helps me and also if you're not subscribed it'd be great if you could stick around and if you're interested in following me on twitch I'll leave a link in the description box below but take care of yourselves guys have a fantastic weekend